So my major in college was mathematics with an emphasis in statistics. An actual science and economics double major. I was an economics major. Mathematics. Actuarial science. I had a double major and that was one actuarial science and then the other one was risk management and insurance. I ultimately received a degree in applied math with minors in business management and political science. It's amazing reflecting back on everything that you know, been through with all of the exams, and it has a lot of parallels to just general education, uh, getting um, a bachelor's degree in college. You take a lot of classes that aren't necessarily, um, you know, 100% directly relevant to what you do, but it's amazing how much you pick up. Find the good way to study. You can do a hundred times the same type of problems, the probabilistic problems around the same subject, and you will not be more able or better at it. You really need to find a good way. Start from the point the professor will lead you and go beyond that. Try to uh, imagine a new problem that is more complex, that is more complete, that brings uh, more constraints, and then you'll get, get at it. Participate as part of the actuarial club within your college. From joining those clubs, one of the big things is that it's going to have freshmen all the way up to seniors, and those seniors, they've taken perhaps a couple of the actuarial exams before, but they've also taken the course well. They know which classes and which professors are perhaps more difficult than others. Focus on um, the communication aspect because being an actor requires great communication skills. So focusing on your written and verbal communication would be a huge benefit as you go through your college coursework. Work in team. Many of the jobs today ask people to work in teams and it is a really good way to uh, pass through this uh, course by being helped by students or help other colleagues because when you can explain something, it means that you master it. And it is a good way to uh, verify that your knowledge is, uh, is good. Make sure you have all things, the exams, the education, and then also something different about you that you can shine through in the interview and really make sure that that company wants to not just work with you, but also just simply sit next to you day in day. Reach out to your peers. They're going through the same thing. There's going to be a lot of support inherently in that. Reach out to teachers or anyone who can give you support through your coursework. And if you are lucky enough to have an internship, you know, seek an internship and try to work with them. Take full advantage of all the resources available. Talk to your friends, talk to the teachers, professors, they're always there to help you. Look for organizations that you can get involved with. You volunteer with things. Be a well-rounded person that has something to offer beyond just a resume list of exams and classes. As you're in high school and through college, don't always just be working. Make sure you're doing things that you really enjoy. It's going to make you more well-rounded person. Mm -hmm.